For all you Apple users out there, you know that the app Reminders comes pre-installed on all your Apple devices. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you the pros and cons of using Apple Reminders daily, how you can implement it into your calendar, and whether this is the task manager that every Apple user should use. All this, coming up. Hey guys, my name is Daniel Langwish, and this channel is focused on helping you in your productivity journey, including digital organization videos just like this one. Now, for those of you who've been following me for a while now, you know that I love the digital organization app Notion. Now, while this app is incredible, and I highly recommend you checking out my playlist above to see all the videos that I have covering Notion, one downside that I realized was that Inputting and processing tasks within Notion was a bit cumbersome. I wanted something quicker, something just easier to use that where I could quickly enter tasks and then view them easily. So since I'm deep into Apple's ecosystem, I imported everything over into my Apple Reminders app and how is it done? Let me start off with my pros and then I'll share with you some cons. Now the first thing that jumped out to me when using Apple Reminders is the simplistic yet elegant design. Now this may seem weird to some of you, but I find completing tasks so much more enjoyable when the design that I'm using is super just pretty to look at. And that's how it is here. When you pull it up, it has four different categories of today, scheduled, all, and flag. Right below it has stored all your lists, which are the categories of different tasks that you have. And you can even create groups, which is categories of lists, which is perfect for my school that I'm going to right now, because I store all my classes as lists and then store that as one big group all together. And overall, I think Apple did a killer job at just creating kind of a minimalistic vibe with the app. Now the next positive that really made this app stand out from my previous uh, task management system within Notion is the ease of task creation. When you create a new reminder, you can immediately start typing all the details of that task and the app will automatically pull the different elements. So it'll automatically recognize a date or a time. And then you can add any notes for the task as well as specific ways for it to remind you such as when you arrive at a certain location or even when you're about to message someone, it can remind you of a task when you do that. And then you can categorize each task for whatever list it falls under. So for me, I've got home, I've got YouTube, I've got finance, and I've got a bunch of different categories and so I'm able to put each task in whatever category it falls under and you can even create subtasks for certain tasks so if you're working on a project uh, creating those subtasks is really helpful for looking at the details but then seeing the bigger picture of the project now these are all fairly standard features but what really makes Apple reminders stand out is is inputting tasks on all your various Apple devices. You can input tasks on your iPhone, you can input tasks on your MacBook, and you can even input tasks straight from your Apple Watch. Speaking of the Apple Watch, inputting tasks is super easy because you can just use dictation and speak the task straight into your watch and it'll add it automatically. It also has a super helpful widget, so straight from the watch face, you can see at a glance what task you have and immediately jump into it. And you can even add tasks from Siri, something that's separate from the other task managers out there. Now the last great feature with Apple Reminders is the way that it can integrate into your digital calendar. Now my favorite calendar and the one that I've been using recently is the free version of Fantastical. And I will say, despite the limitations of the free version, I still think that this is the best free calendar that you can get. Just the way that it handles inputting tasks, I still think is head and shoulders above every other calendar app out there. And with Fantastical, you can actually go into your settings and add all your Apple reminders to show up right within the calendar. So when you're looking at a day, you can not only see the events that you have, but you can see all the to-dos that you have to do that way as well. So if you're one of those people that likes to have one area to see all the things that you have to do, this is perfect for you. You can even choose what specific lists you want to show. So if you don't want everything to show and clog up your calendar, you can just choose specific things to show up there. Now it may seem like I just love everything about Apple Reminders, 
but that's not true. We've got a few cons and let me cover them here. The first con that I have is the limitation that it has with creating recurring events. Now it gives you the typical options for recurring events, you know, daily, weekly, monthly, and it even gives you a custom option so you can choose things like every third day. I was a little disappointed that there wasn't an even greater customization with the kinds of recurring events you can create. You're not able to do something like every third Sunday or every other Thursday, stuff like that. And I know that those tasks, for at least for me, aren't super common, but when they do come up, I just find that this app isn't able to handle them as well as I would like. The second con that I have is the lack of other views within the Apple Reminders app itself. Within the Apple Reminders app, there's no month view where you can see all your tasks over a month or a week view. There's nothing like that. Now, obviously, if you're using an app like Fantastical, this may not matter for you as you can just stay within the Fantastical app and view it all within there. But it's too bad for the people that are just using the Apple Reminders app that there's no way to just view your tasks over a month view right within the app itself. But honestly, those are about the only cons I have. You know, for what it is, it's very simple, straight to the point, and I have really enjoyed using it as an Apple user. Now, should you switch to Apple Reminders? That really comes down to if you're wanting something that is super simple, easy to use and works great across all your Apple devices. There are definitely way more powerful to-do apps out there. Things like Things 3, I mean, that's a really popular one, especially if you're trying to get into complex projects. And the one that I will always recommend for handling lots of stuff is Notion. It can handle to-dos, it can handle notes, it can handle planning projects. That's really what it's great at. But for a simple app for Apple users that is great at just inputting tasks easily, Apple Reminders is a great option. Now, there are many other to-do apps out there and I'd be interested to hear what to-do app are you using, what's your favorite, and are there any to-do list apps that you'd want me to cover in a video in the future? Let me know down in the comments below. But I'll keep you guys updated on how this is uh, working for me. That's it for today. Until next time.